Can you picture a life where gratitude flows like a river, refreshing your soul and watering every dry place in your heart? What if I told you that starting your day with a heart full of thanksgiving can unlock doors of miracles and shower you with unimaginable peace and blessings? The first rays of the morning sun rise not just to light the world, but to remind us of God's unfailing love, His mercy, and His abundant blessings. So today, I invite you into a sacred space of thanksgiving, where we will pour out our hearts to God and reflect on His goodness in our lives. No matter what you are facing, there is something powerful about saying, Thank you, Lord. It shifts the heavens and ushers in blessings you cannot just contain. Stay with me until the end of this prayer. And let this be your morning anthem. Play this video every morning to set the tone for your day. And if this prayer touches your life, subscribe to this channel for more faith-filled morning prayers. Good morning, beloved of the Lord. Welcome to this precious moment of thanksgiving and prayer. Every sunrise is a gentle reminder of God's unfailing love and His unending goodness. There is something truly special about starting the day with gratitude. When we lift our hearts in thanksgiving, we acknowledge God's sovereignty and invite His presence into every aspect of our lives. Thanksgiving is not just a routine activity. It is a spiritual service, a declaration that God is good and His mercies endure forever. The Bible tells us in Psalm 92 verses 1 through 2, It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night. Here, we can see the importance of thanking God at the wake of the morning. No matter the chaos or ups and downs of the previous day, we need to thank God for a new day and a new chance at life because each morning is a fresh start, a blank page gifted to us by God. Before the bustles of the day unfolds, Pausing to give thanks anchors our hearts on Christ and reminds us of His unfailing love. Life may not always feel perfect, and there may be struggles weighing heavily on your heart. But remember, every breath you take is evidence of God's faithfulness. Even in the darkest moments, there are countless reasons to thank Him. That is why in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, we are reminded to Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This does not mean we are blind to our challenges or we are ignoring our struggles. It means that we trust in the one who is bigger than them all, and we absolutely believe that he is working everything for our good, even when we cannot yet see it. As we prepare to pray, dear friends, I encourage you to lay every burden at his feet. Let this be a moment of surrender, a moment to reflect on His goodness, and let gratitude fill every corner of your heart. Let us reflect on two incredible stories of thanksgiving in the Bible. The first is found in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20. Jehoshaphat, faced with a vast army threatening destruction, did something extraordinary. He appointed singers to go ahead of his army, praising and giving thanks to God. As they sang, Give thanks to the Lord, for His steadfast love endures forever. The Lord set ambushes against their enemies, and victory was theirs. What a powerful reminder that thanksgiving is not just an act of worship, but a weapon of spiritual warfare. When you thank God, even in the midst of battle, you declare your trust in His power to deliver you. So when you are faced with overwhelmingly difficult situations, do not panic, do not fear. For you have a God that is bigger than every situation. Praise God now and watch Him turn things around for your good. Also, let us consider the example of Jesus in Matthew chapter 15, verse 36, where He gave thanks over the loaves of bread and fish to feed thousands. With just five loaves and two fish, He lifted His eyes to heaven and gave thanks. What followed was nothing short of a miracle. Thousands were fed, and there were leftovers. Beloved, when you thank God for the little you have, He multiplies it into abundance. Whether it's your finances, your relationships, or your strength to face another day, Thanksgiving unlocks divine provision. Now, let me speak directly to you, dear brothers and sisters. 
Maybe you are carrying burdens that feel overwhelming. Perhaps you are waiting on a breakthrough and the waiting feels endless. I want you to know this. God sees you. He knows your pain, your prayers, and your desires. And even in this moment, He is working behind the scenes for your good. Begin your day with gratitude and watch how it transforms your perspective. Thanksgiving shifts the focus from what you lack to what you have. And what you have is a faithful, loving, and powerful God. Think also about the leper in Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. Ten were healed, but only one returned to thank Jesus. And to that one, Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. Gratitude not only brings healing, but also total restoration. When you thank God, you open the door for him to perfect every area of your life. Finally, let us reflect on Mark 1 verse 35, where we see Jesus rise early in the morning to pray in a quiet place. If the Son of God, who had all power and authority, understood the importance of starting his day in communion with the Father, how much more should we? Thanksgiving in the morning sets the tone for your day, reminding you that God is in control. Beloved, Thanksgiving is not just about what God has done. It is about who He is. He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. He is Jehovah Shalom, our peace. As we prepare to enter into prayer, I encourage you to reflect on His goodness, surrender your worries, and let Thanksgiving flow from your heart like a sweet aroma to heaven. Stay with me until the end of this prayer. Watch this video daily and allow the power of gratitude to transform your life. And if you have not already, subscribe to this channel for more prayers to uplift and bless your life. Now to everyone under the sound of my voice, let us approach the throne of grace with boldness, ready to give thanks to our God who is worthy of all praise. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with hearts overflowing with gratitude. You are the almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. You spoke the universe into existence, yet you care for us so deeply, calling us by name. We thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love that surrounds us every single day. You are the good shepherd who leads us beside still waters and restores our souls. You are holy righteous and true, and there is none like you. We honor you, Lord, for who you are, not just for what you do, but for the very essence of your being. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Shalom, our peace. We lift your name high above all other names. Lord, we thank you for the breath of life, every heartbeat, Every inhale and exhale is a gift from you. We do not take this lightly, Father, for it is you who sustains us through the night and awakens us each morning. Thank you for the gift of another day, a day to love, to serve, and to glorify you. Father, we thank you for the beauty of creation that declares your majesty. From the golden rays of the morning sun to the whisper of the wind through the trees, all of creation testifies of your greatness. We are truly in awe of your greatness and power. Lord, we thank you for being our provider. In moments of scarcity, you have shown yourself as Jehovah Jireh, supplying all our needs according to your riches in glory. Even when we didn't know how we would make it through, you made a way out of no way. Thank you for the food on our tables, the clothes on our backs, and the roofs over our heads. These are blessings we sometimes overlook, but today, Lord, we pause to say, thank you. Lord, we thank you for the battles you fought for us, the ones we saw and the countless ones we didn't. Just as you delivered Jehoshaphat and his army when they praised you, we trust that you are fighting on our behalf today. Thank you for being the God who goes before us, who surrounds us with favor as with a shield. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because you are our defender. Father, we thank you for provision. Even when we had little, you multiplied it, just as you did with the loaves and fish. Lord, 
we choose to focus not on what we lack, but on the abundance you've already given us. Thank you for being our shepherd, ensuring we lack nothing. Lord, we thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, to die for our sins. His blood has washed us clean, and his resurrection has given us victory over death. We are eternally grateful for the cross, where mercy and grace met us. We stand redeemed, not because of our works, but because of your unconditional love. Father, we lift up our hearts in thanksgiving for the blessing of good health. Though our bodies may not always be perfect, we thank you for the ability to move, to see, to hear, and to speak. Every part of us is fearfully and wonderfully made by your loving hands. For those who may be struggling with illness, we thank you in advance for your healing power, knowing that you are the great physician who heals every disease and binds every wound. Lord, Father, we thank you for our families. Thank you for the parents, spouses, children, and friends you've placed in our lives. These relationships are reflections of your love, and we are grateful for the joy, comfort, and support they bring. We thank you, Lord, for blessing us with the gift of these people, for the love that surrounds us, and for the lessons we learn from one another. Father, I lift up everyone under the sound of my voice. For those who feel weary, strengthen them with your power. For those who feel broken, mend their hearts. For those who feel lost, guide them back to you. Lord, I pray for the mother who is crying out for her children, for the wife who feels unseen in her struggles, and for the man who feels overwhelmed by life's demands. Surround them with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, we thank you for the gift of your word. It is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you for the promises in Scripture that remind us of your love, faithfulness, and sovereignty. Help us to hide your word in our hearts, that we might not sin against you. Father, we thank you for the times you said no or not yet. Thank you for the closed doors that protected us from harm and the delays that aligned us with your perfect will. Lord, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. So we choose gratitude even in the waiting. Lord, I pray for those seeking a breakthrough today, whether it is in their finances, health, relationships, or careers. We know, dear Lord, that you are the God of breakthroughs. Therefore, grant breakthroughs unto them according to their heart desires. Let them sing a new song and testify of your goodness. Father, we thank you for the victories that are already on the way. We thank you for the healing, the promotions, the open doors, and the answered prayers. Even when we can't see it, we trust that you are working behind the scenes, orchestrating everything for our good. Lord, we repent for the times we have taken your blessings for granted. Forgive us for complaining when we should have been thanking you. Help us to cultivate a heart of gratitude, to see your hand in every situation, and to praise you in all circumstances. Father, we thank you for the seasons of life. In the joyful seasons, you remind us of your abundance. And in the challenging seasons, you teach us to trust you more deeply. Thank you for the lessons learned in the valleys and the triumphs celebrated on the mountaintops. Every moment, every season is a testament to your faithfulness. Lord, we thank you for the relationships that have shaped us, the people who have walked alongside us in love and support, and even those who have challenged us to grow. Thank you for divine connections that align us with your purpose and for the wisdom to navigate every relationship with grace and love. Father, we thank you for the gift of community, for the church, and for the body of Christ. 
thank you for the opportunity to worship together, to encourage one another, and to grow in faith as a family. We are grateful for the prayers of the saints, the words of encouragement, and the shared burdens that remind us we are never alone. Lord, we thank you for the dreams you have placed within us. Thank you for the unique purposes you have designed for each of our lives. Even when the path seems unclear, we trust that you are guiding us step by step. Thank you for opening doors of opportunity, for giving us creative ideas, and for equipping us to fulfill our God-given assignments. Father, thank you for the children in our lives. Whether they are our own or those we influence, we thank you for their innocence, their laughter, and the joy they bring. Bless them, Lord, and keep them under your loving care. Guide their steps, protect their hearts, and draw them close to you. Father, we thank you for being our anchor in the storms of life. When the winds howl and the waves crash, you are our steady foundation. Thank you for being the God who calms the storm with a word and brings peace to our troubled hearts. We thank you, Lord, for forgiveness. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that washes away our sins and makes us new. Thank you for your mercy that triumphs over judgment, for second chances and fresh starts. We are humbled by your grace, Lord, and we thank you for loving us even when we fall short. We also thank you, Lord, for the strength you give us daily. There are days when we feel weak and unable to carry on, but your power is made perfect in our weakness. Thank you for being the source of our strength, for lifting us when we cannot lift ourselves, and for walking with us every step of the way. As we begin this day, we ask for your presence to go before us. Fill our hearts with joy and our mouths with songs of thanksgiving. Let our lives be a reflection of your glory and a testimony of your goodness. We surrender our burdens at your feet, Lord. We exchange our worries for your peace, our doubts for your promises, and our fears for your love. Thank you for being our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Father, we end this prayer with gratitude for the gift of prayer itself. Thank you that we can come boldly before your throne of grace, confident that you hear us. Thank you for being a God who not only listens, but also answers. We lift our voices in praise to you. You are worthy of all glory, honor, and adoration. We declare that you are good and your mercy endures forever. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering our prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare these blessings upon you. Type praise Jesus below if this prayer blessed you. Remember to subscribe. To God be all the glory. May his grace and peace be with you.